stopped by Target today just randomly and decided to go ahead and do a review of products that I've used and let you know my honest opinion about all of these items. NYX Butter Gloss. I am a lip gloss snob and I'm here to tell you NYX Butter Gloss is probably my very favorite lip gloss right now and for $4.99 at Target, you cannot beat it. NYX Fat Lip Drip Oil. This will run you $6.99 at Target. It is hydrating, it is not sticky, it is pretty, and it hits the spot just right. This e.l.f. No Budge eyeshadow stick in this shade Champagne Crystal, I just couldn't get it to work. I believe it was $5. I had to rub really hard to get any kind of payout on my lid. I know this is popular and has gotten wonderful reviews, but for some reason, this just didn't work for me. Maybe I will try another shade and see if it works better, but this one in particular was just a big no. I love this NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Uh, it'll run you $10.99 at Target. I don't know what it is about this particular concealer i don't even care if it cracks or creases which by the way i haven't had a problem with it i just use it because i love love the way it feels i love the hydration i mix it with moisturizer and use it as a tinted moisturizer absolutely thumbs up nyx wonder stick dual end face shaper this is in the shade universal light I picked this up one day at Ulta quite by accident. I thought I was buying something else. <laughs> I got the wrong color, I got the wrong everything, but when I used it, I loved it. It makes a very lovely, creamy contour for your face. It lasts, it makes a lovely primer for your eyes. You can even use it for eyeshadow. I love to use the highlighter end to lighten up my eyes. Just multi-use and very worth the $13.99. NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer Contour. This is excellent. It's very concentrated. It's thick. It covers very, very well. You'll only need a little tiny bit. Um, it'll run you $9.49 at Target. Once applied, it does dry down rather quickly, so you need to work with it as fast as you can, but other than that, highly recommend this concealer. ELF Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm, $11 at Target. This is a perfect dupe for the Clinique Cleansing Balm. I picked it up one day. I had used the Clinique, loved it, thought, you know what, let's give this a shot. Yeah, there's no need to waste your money on Clinique if you can get your hands on the ELF Hydration cleansing balm. It removes your makeup really, really well. Highly recommend. Elf Woe Glow. All right. I live in Southwest Florida and I can't get away with not using sunscreen. I don't like putting sunscreen on my face. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it mixes with makeup typically, but this has been the yay hooray this will work great. It works good on skin, it looks good under makeup, and it'll run you $14 worth every penny. ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter. If you've ever seen my video where I put this on my face for the very first time, you saw that I just about passed out. I was so excited about this product. It is gorgeous. It has just enough glow. It has just enough coverage. It's beautiful. Uh, apparently, it is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. I've never used Charlotte Tilbury in my life, but I can tell you now I don't need to because this e.l.f. Halo Glow Foundation is absolutely magnifique. It'll run you $14. Go for it. Another e.l.f. product for the win, this Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I picked this up at Ulta for the first time about a week or so ago, and I loved it. It has a sponge tip 
applicator. I like to actually apply it to my fingers and then apply it to my face. I didn't really like the way it applied directly to my skin from the applicator. I found it to be a little bit more difficult to blend, but it is illuminescent just right. It's just it's just the right amount of glow. It's it's a it's a wonderful payout for color. It's absolutely beautiful for $9. Yeah, definitely don't walk, run to your nearest wherever and pick that product up for $9. It's gorgeous. Elf Bite Size Shadow Quads. Wow. $3. These powder shadows have... The, the payout is ridiculous. For $3, it's absolutely ridiculous. The fallout is minimal. Unless you're using the shimmer, then it's a little bit, it's a little bit heavy, but the, the matte shades, well, the shimmer shades are beautiful anyway, but for $3, you really cannot go wrong with these e.l.f. quads. Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. This is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Target, it'll run you $8.99. It is just a beautiful shade. It is beautiful on the skin. It goes on really easily. I love it. Yes, thumbs up, definitely. Wet and Wild. I wish so much that I could use Wet and Wild products they're beautiful and they're so affordable this particular palette here is i believe three dollars and 29 cents the problem with wet and wild it it really irritates my skin i can't use any of their products on my skin the uh the lipsticks bother me the blush irritates me the eyeshadows I'm just allergic, apparently just allergic to whatever's in the product. I know that not everyone is. I know that these are wonderful products and, and, and they're very popular. So, you know, they're beautiful. I wish I could use them. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for the way my skin reacts to Wet n Wild, I'd be like, yes, yes, yes. So for the money and the payout, I would give it a thumbs up. Unfortunately for me, I can't use it. So here we are with a Wet n Wild blush. Again, I have Wet n Wild blush. I use it. It's just not the best formulation for my skin. Uh, if it's not irritating my skin, it doesn't last very long. It's kind of patchy and just doesn't last. But for $3.29, these colors are beautiful. So if, if they work well for your skin, I would say, yeah, $3.29, they're beautiful, stock up. Uh, unfortunately, I just, don't have a lot of good luck with um, Wet n Wild. CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. I do not know what they have done to make this drugstore foundation so delicious, but it is probably the best $14.99 I have ever spent for a drugstore foundation, ever. It is nourishing, it is moisturizing, it covers, it lasts, it's really good for under eye darkness. I have nothing bad to say about this CoverGirl Plus Olay foundation at all. Highly recommend. This Neutrogena Moisturizing Under Eye Concealer, just, no, I, no, it didn't work well for me at all. It's $11.99 at Target. Uh, I found it to be rather drying for some reason. Um, it was very creasy, just no, unfortunately. Neutrogena I think is a good brand typically, but this particular product that they have did not work well for me. Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken. 24 hour five in one concealer. Absolutely, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. This will run you $12 and, oh, I'm sorry, it'll run you $10.79 at Target. It's excellent. 
the consistency, the coverage, the way it sits on the skin, the way it moves on the skin, just excellent. These Revlon Color Stay products are just amazing. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted at how the long wear, how they can be so good for mature skin. This long wear makeup, this Revlon Color Stay long wear makeup, $12.49, covers well, not drying, doesn't crack, doesn't sit in your wrinkles or your fine lines, at least not in mine. I love it. Elf Putty Blush. This is the older formula, I believe. It's $7. I bought it, I can't remember how long ago it was, probably a year or so ago. I did not like it at all. It was super stiff. It did not last very long, and I just don't recommend it. Um, I will be testing the illuminating, or the one that has more luminosity soon, but the just regular e.l.f. Putty Blush, I can't recommend, not even for $7. NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Gloss. Is this what this is? I bought it and I returned it. I hated it. I, did, I, li I didn't like anything about it at all. I didn't like the way it felt. It was sticky. I didn't like the way it looked. Uh, just no. I was very disappointed given the fact that I really love, typically love NYX. Uh, lip products, but this was definitely a thumbs down for me. Okay, this is adorable. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lip. It's two dollars and thirty nine cents at Target. Oh my gosh, such cute packaging. I've never used it. I've I've never used this before. I just had to pick it up and talk about it because it's so stinking cute. Look at that little lip on there. It's like the little lip on the container, like on the packaging. It's so cute. I might have to pick this up just because of that. Hey, thanks so much for watching.